Hello friends, today we are going to discuss stereochemistry of E2 reaction. In an E2 reaction, a substrate with a leaving group X and at least one beta hydrogen in the presence of a base undergoes elimination like this to produce an alkene. Here, proton abstraction and elimination of leaving group occurs in the same step. In this reaction, CH sigma bonding orbital of the reactant overlaps with the CX antibonding sigma orbital to produce new pi bond. For the best overlap, H and X should be antiperipillar. If we view from this side, the Newman projection of this anti-conformation will look like this. If there are two beta hydrogen atoms, E2 elimination may lead to the formation of two stereoisomeric alkenes, trans and cis, in unequal proportion. This is because such substrate have two conformations with H and X antiperiplanar, but one conformation is more stable than other. More stable conformation leads to the major product while less stable conformation leads to minor. In such cases, trans alkene is formed as major while cis as minor. For example, when 3-bromopentane is allowed to react with sodium ethoxide, a mixture of trans 2-pentene and cis 2-pentene is obtained where trans isomer is major and cis isomer is minor. Now let's see how it happens. For better understanding, we can draw 3-bromopentane like as. Let's redraw the structure to bring H and Br antiperiplanar and in the plane of the paper. If we view this molecule from this side, its Newman projection will look like this. Let's label this conformation as A. Here, H is antiperiplanar to Br. We can draw another conformation with H and Br antiperiplanar by just rotating the back carbon through 120 degrees. Let's label it as conformation B. Conformation B is less stable than conformation A because of Gauss interaction in B. Now, we can see that Elimination in more stable conformation A gives major trans isomer, while elimination in less stable conformation B gives minor cis isomer. Stereo is specific E2 reaction. In E2 reaction, stereo specificity can be observed if both the alpha and beta carbons are chiral. In such circumstances, there is only one proton at beta carbon that can take part in elimination. In this case, there is only one possible antiperiplanar transition state. So, whether the product is cis or trans will only depend on which diastereomer of the starting material is used. Let's take the example of two diastereomers of 1-bromo-1,2-diphenylpropane A and B. After reaction with sodium hydroxide, A gives transalkene while B gives cisalkene. Now, let's see how this happens. For better understanding, let's redraw diastereomer A so as H and Br are antiperipinular and in the, page, in the plane of the page. If we view from the left, its Newman projection will look like this. You can use either perspective or Newman projection to find the stereochemical outcome of E2 reaction. Suppose we are using perspective formula. Proton abstraction and removal of leaving group will occur like this. In the transition state, one phenyl group is 
above the plane while other is below the plane of the paper. So, in the product, these two phenyl groups will be trans and thus the product will be trans. Now, let's read our diastereomer B such that H and BR are anti-periplanar and in the plane of the page. If you view from the left, its Newman projection will look like this. Suppose we are using perspective formula. Proton abstraction and removal of leaving group will occur like this. In the transition state, both the phenyl groups are below the plane of the paper. So, in the product, these two phenyl groups will be cis and thus product will be cis. That's all in this video. Please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon if you like this video. Thank you very much.